Hi, I'm Justine and welcome to the Aesthetics Insider. Today, it's my great pleasure to have a special guest on with me today on the Aesthetics Insider. It's Yola Chavara. She's an old friend of mine and skincare guru, and she also happens to be the director of a wonderful new company called Reveal Australia. And Reveal Australia have got great products called Adore Eyes, which I've been using for the last few months. So welcome, Yola. It's great to be here, Justine Stewart Crompton. <laughs> well, thank you so much for coming on my show. I'd love you for, for you to tell us a little bit more about Adore Eyes. I'd love to. And thanks for the opportunity. I love, love everything you're doing with Aesthetics Insider. Well done. Um, and I'm very pleased to be part of this. So Adore Eyes, it, interestingly, it came to me um, through a need. And I say need in terms of aesthetic need, want. Uh, a couple of years ago, I actually had surgery on my eye because I'd been using a certain type of eyelash growth serum that gets, unfortunately, you get side effects with it. But I refused to give up because, you know, I love my long lashes and um, eventually ended up in hospital because I got, had such dry eyes that it caused a bit, a tiny little speck of mascara to become dislodged in my actual eyeball because I had no mucous membrane basically on my eye. And that's one of the side effects of this particular ingredient. Um, and it's called a prostaglandin. So I kind of thought my luscious lash days were over. And I spent the last couple of years looking for a non-prostaglandin uh, and 100% non-prostaglandin product that could still enhance my lashes, grow my lashes, thicken them, make them softer, but also get the health back. Because what I found after using it is my lashes became quite brittle and there was a bit of fallout too. So I was devastated. Um, and for anyone that it has hangs their hat on certain parts of their aesthetic, you'll know what I mean. Um, so I came across Adore Eyes and I started using it. Absolutely loved it. It's an uh, lash growth serum. They also make a brow one. It's manufactured in Canada in a health, a health Canada certified facility. And for people that don't know, and the average person wouldn't know, is Canada and Australia actually share the same uh, regulatory requirements when it comes to manufacturing products. So that means that ingredient prostaglandin isn't allowed, which in, in Australia and Canada has to be prescribed. So that kind of reassured me, but it wasn't until I started using it and loving it that I thought, I really, really want to be a part of this. And I became the Australian New Zealand distributor and the rest is history. It's a beautiful product. It's one of the things I like about it is that it, it's 100% vegan. It is not tested on animals. It, it delivers a result without any compromise. So the main ingredient is what's called a triple peptide complex. So those three peptides go to work on all three phases of the lash growth. And one of the phases of lash growth is actually fallout. So there's actually one of the peptides that targets that fallout to stop as much fallout going on. Uh, and it's got, yeah, it's got a plethora of beautiful botanicals in it as well to soften and hydrate your lashes, which might not sound important, but when your lashes are soft, they tend to not fall out, they, your mascara goes on better and you don't get that crinkling or mm. fall out. So all in all, it, it literally ticked every single lash serum box for me and I just had to bring it into Australia so everybody could benefit. So I, I can also attest, so I've been using it for I guess the last couple of months now and someone like me, I have stumpy blonde eyelashes and I've seen a significant amount of growth just in the last couple of months and they don't seem to be slowing down. So I have to be very careful when I'm putting my mascara on because otherwise it leaves the mascara all up on my upper lid, which I'm loving because it means that they've actually gotten wrong. Yeah. 
Um, so it. I'm finding it's a really nice product. And I think the fact that it is vegan and not tested on animals is a super important point for a lot of consumers now. Um, and I, I love that you've brought this in because you are actually paying attention to this really important point of it, not having the prostaglandins in it. And we know that prostaglandins actually make the products work, but it's not relying on that. It's relying on natural ingredients that are also active in order to get the results as opposed to relying on a, a prescription product, which can have the side effects that we know about. Exactly. And the side effects, what's scary and the reason why you can't buy readily those products here in Australia is that the side effects are significant. So we're talking about styes, you know, and I would get one or two a year and think, oh, it's worth it, it's worth it. Um, dry eye, irritation, basically any product that says that you might read on the instructions, for example, it might say something like can cause irritation or can cause eyelid staining, um, can't be used um, with lash extensions those are kind of key signals that it may have a prostaglandin in it mm. um and that's probably why look eventually i'm sure the rest of the world will follow suit um and you know i was making that decision to use that product i, I knew the side effects but i'm lucky because i was in the industry but it got into that point that i mean how ridiculous that i ended up having to have eye surgery oh my god that was just crazy Look, I, I'm someone that has actually used the prescription product from overseas as well. And unfortunately, I also have really sensitive eyes and I just couldn't tolerate it and ended up just trying to make it work on my eyebrows because I just couldn't tolerate that product, the, the prescription one. Um, and I've also tried other ones which are not prescription ones, but do have prostaglandins in them and again I have to just I, I get through half a tube and they're not cheap and I get through half a tube and then I've got just like severe irritation on my skin I get the discoloration of my skin and I just can't tolerate it any longer unfortunately so for me this is my, my dream of having beautiful lashes it's coming true again I'm pleased to be able to help you because yeah I think I think there's a few people in our situation, I really do, and that's one of the reasons why I, I just had to bring it into Australia and New Zealand. And the company is amazing, like, because I'm from the medical aesthetics world, as are you, and I know we are really anal with what we use. It's like, I really want to make sure it, it's got, it's, it's regulated, it works. But imagine me, this was the first product that I launched officially with Reveal, because I started Reveal in July after 30 years in the industry it took me so long but of course it was so important to me that that launch product was had to be amazing and as soon as i came across adora that's yeah that was really the impetus for me to start the business so tell me yola for what what does someone experience when they start using adora for the first time that's a really important question actually because slow and steady wins the race is all i can say it, because it's more of a natural product it takes a bit longer and if you've ever used a serum that has that other ingredient in it you'll know it works really fast as a rule of thumb you apply it to your lash line so and when i say lash line it's important to understand what i mean as if you're putting a, a line an eyeliner on your eye so on the top of your lashes um, you do that twice a day so am and pm it literally it actually feels really nice so it's kind of you almost look forward to it because it's like self-care for your yes. eyes and yes. it doesn't sting so no, you don't mind exactly. doing exactly and it doesn't I, I always just get itchy after i put on a lash serum and this one no itching at all Oh, great. Yeah, same. Um, so twice a day is best. And because it is so, so gentle, you can use it twice a day. And that's going to maximise your results. The average person sees results in about three months. But what we're finding, and we've always found this, is younger people tend to get it, get the results quicker. And the more mature you are, just because of the nature of the lash growth cycle, everything takes longer when you get older it's the same with your skin cell cycle it can take a bit longer so we always like to say three months but what you'll notice incrementally is little things start to happen so the first thing you might notice is that your lashes feel softer that might be after a couple of weeks and you're going oh 
mascara is going on really easily. And then you might notice some gaps getting filled in that, you, you know, holes in your lashes. Um, they're the sort of things you start noticing first. And I had, I had one client recently, she um, had had cancer and she, her lashes were almost non-existent. Now she took that bit longer because she is on hormone suppressant. So it took her more like three months, even four months to start noticing a difference. But the best thing for her was almost instantly her lashes stopped falling out. Right. So yeah, she used to wake up with her lashes on the pillow, not anymore. Um, yeah, absolutely. So even like for her, having that aesthetic back is, very confidence building um so it that's good to know for people that have been through uh chemotherapy it's perfectly safe also if you've had lash extensions or currently have lash extensions you can use it um that's good but to yeah know, that's what I'm sure there's a lot of people out there who want to have lash extensions but don't want to have that maintenance and don't want to have the damage to their existing lashes but this is something that they can transition into I, I think that's really a big um, calling card for Adore Eyes because you can safely use it with lash extensions and we all know how popular they are um, and know that when you're ready to get the lash extensions taken off, you'll be left with healthy lashes underneath and not have to worry about you know the weight of the lash extensions pulling out your natural lashes. That's a really, yeah, it's a bit of a bonus really. So Yola, where would... Um people who want to buy Adore Eyes Lash and Brow Serum, where would they find that? Good question. So uh, you can make an inquiry through my website, which is www.revealaustralia.com.au. And there's a little form where you can find a stalker. You just fill it out and, and I let you know. Um, I respond to you normally within 24 hours to let you know where a stockist is near you. So it's available through uh, many spas, beauty salons, and medical aesthetics clinics around Australia. Great. Excellent. Yeah. Well, I've had an amazing result and I'm loving my long silky lashes. Um, and, and as we discussed the other day, I've gone and had them tinted. So you can actually see the ends of my lashes now instead of them being just pale and blonde and still not actually looking that long because they are much longer than they were before. And I'm really glad to be on my improved lash journey with you, Yola, and appreciate your support in getting me some beautiful long lashes finally. I'm glad. I'm glad. And um, if you try the brow serum, let me know too. That's basically the same formula. Okay. It's just a different applicator. Great. So well, it's easy to apply. Yeah. Since I'm one of the many that destroyed their eyebrows in the 90s, I am absolutely looking forward to having some brows that actually look like they belong in 19 and 2022. Oh, 100%. I'm still trying to grow back the ends from over plucking. I know. That's so true. I think we're not alone in that either, unfortunately. No, I come across so many ladies who, uh, you know, spend, as I do, a lot of time drawing their brows in each morning to make them actually resemble something thicker than what they really have in reality and using multiple products every day. So uh, I'm really looking forward to actually having some more hair growing there and not having it all drawn on. Good. You'll be pleased, I'm sure. I'm no sure. No doubt. Well, I'm really looking forward to um, trying the other product and showing some before and afters with that as well. Everyone can see what my brows look like naturally without makeup. Oh, <laughs> it's a journey, but it's worth it. It really totally. is. Totally. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. We'll take some good photos. So unfortunately, we didn't take good before photos for the Adore Eyes Lash, but I can guarantee you I've had an amazing result and show you the afters. Great. It's so hard to take good before and afters anyway, especially when you're pale. Like you and I, our lashes are pale. It is hard. So sometimes with the clinics I work with, I even tell them to put mascara on as the in the before and mascara on in the after. The same mascara, so you're getting a legitimate picture. But I encourage everybody to do that for themselves because you will be surprised at the result in, especially if you take even every month, but at least at the start and then after three months, 
you might just be surprised what you see. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, like I told you, I was quite surprised. I've had a, a reasonable result at two months. So I'm really pleased. And and exactly what you said, felt soft and silky, seeing a really nice improvement. Great. And just a tip for everybody, keep it in the box. because This is the beautiful box that comes in. It's got instructions and everything. Um, if you keep it in the box, especially in Australia, our bathrooms get hot. They get freezing. They get every temperature. This nice little padded box actually helps to protect the product. And there's a six mils in here. So it's going to last you about five months. So that's my advice is to keep it in the little box that it comes in um, to get longevity and to just, yeah, stop it from overheating in your bathroom. Wonderful. Great advice. So Yola, please tell me, with Adore Eyes, what's the main things that you need to know about it? One of the best things about Adore Eyes is the triple peptide complex. That is the biggest important ingredient or set of ingredients because each peptide works on each part of your lash growth. So there's three stages and it works on each three. Yeah. That's great. And something I think is really important that I know a lot of um, potential purchasers would think is also that it's vegan and totally never tested on animals. So very, very safe. Definitely no animal derivatives, not tested on animals. It, it's got also a lot of natural and botanical ingredients. So as well as the peptides that help with the growth, it's got ingredients like arginine, panthenol that help to strengthen and condition the lashes as they're growing, which is really important with natural lashes. Absolutely. That was awesome. I reckon that's great. Well, thank you so much for coming on my show. Thank you to Yola Chavara from Revision Skincare for joining me today. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And we'll see you next time on the Aesthetics Insider.